What is up fellow nerds and welcome back to the Dapper Snapper Gaming Channel. Now today we are bringing you another Wi-Fi battle for Wi-Fi Wednesday and we're going to see if we can't take a W here with a new team using a Pokemon that has just returned with home and that is Specs Keldeo. This thing hits like a truck, especially in rain. So we've got some support for, uh, for our boy here and it's gonna be great it's gonna be awesome he does get walled by a lot of things because of his really small move pool but you know we've got some support in the back we got a zero aura with life orb which is great we've got a defensive stealth rocking cabalion choice scarf celebi it's a thing it's strong we used it in a live the other day it did work and we've got a heavy duty boots offensive swift swim mantine which is pretty cool so you know we've got we've got some pretty cool stuff here and we're gonna see if we can't take down maximilian today now what do we have on our opponent's team a strong looking sand team all right so this this is uh kind of looking a little scary but we're gonna have a weather war it looks like and so what do i want to lead with here if i lead pelipper then i'm not really in the best position what do i want to lead i think i lead zara aura I, I think that's my best lead because if I lead Pelipper, then um, and he leads uh, Tyranitar, then he's gonna get his sand up because he's um, he's slower. So I think it's my best option to lead with Zara Aura. The Jirachi poses kind of a threat. Um, we we talked about Jirachi brief in our uh, competitive decks earlier this week. If you haven't seen that, make sure to check that out. But basically, that thing can do about anything it wants. Okay, so this is a decent lead for us. He can't Volt Switch on us. All he can do, really, is go for a, like, Hydro Pump. Or he could burn us, which is possible, which I'm not a fan of him doing that. But I don't see him Volt Switching here. Because he's scared of, uh, of hitting that. So I'm going to Hard Switch into Celebi. And I'm expecting him to swap out. If he clicks Volt Switch here, I'm going to be real upset. Okay, so he did hard swap. So he he knew. He knew. As it goes into Flygon. Okay, so that's not the best for us. Um, Leaf Storm isn't going to do all that much, I don't think. How much does How much does it even do? Um... Leaf Storm doesn't even do half. U-turn does 63%. Yeah. Um, uh, to us from him. I'm clicking U-turn and getting out. So we're going to go ahead and reveal the Scarf here. At least assuming that he's also Scarfed. Um, well, it could be a Speed Tie. So he, he could also assume a Speed Tie. So that's, that's a thing. Um, I think... Think, I think he goes for U-turn here probably. If I were to, if I were to guess, so I'm gonna go Pelipper and go ahead and set my rain. He can go T-Tar if he wants to and get rid of the rain, but then he's gonna take a U-turn from this. Yeah, he does click U-turn. That was his best move for sure. And so now he gets to go into whatever he wants. We do learn that he is Life Orb. So I'm going to say that he just has to assume right there that we um, that we Speed Tide right there. Because we are both 100 base speed. And he goes into the Cobalion. Now this is faster than us and does carry Volt Switch. So I don't want any of that. But I also like... So I can't let this die. And if I go into Zara Aura and he clicks, like, close combat or something, then I'm in big trouble. Although, I don't know if I even kill this with close combat off of Zara Aura. Let's see if we even do. If he's no defense, yeah, no defense, we still can't kill. So, that's kind of an issue. I think our, mo our most neutral play is to go our own Cabalion here. If he clicks Volt Switch, that's fine. Um, we could have gone Zero Aura for free, but yeah, we could have. But I, I just I can't take that risk. 
Zero ore is too important. Okay, so what do you go into on my Cobalion? Now knowing that I'm a little bit bulkier. Because I think I've got quite a bit of HP investment on, on this. I don't remember right off, but I think I've got quite a bit of HP investment. As he goes into... Back into the Flygon. Okay, that checks out. Okay, so he does learn that we're leftovers and sees that we are uh, a little bit bulkier. Now, even no bulk Cabalion takes an Earthquake from this, but it's not worth it for me to take that on... It's not worth it at all for me to take that damage. I feel like I have to go Mantine here, but I also don't want to just like die to an Outrage or something. I feel like he probably clicks U-turn here, expecting me to swap. But I don't think I can take that risk here. Um, yeah, I, I can take an Earthquake, but I, I don't want to. <laughs> I really don't want to. He goes for Dragon Dance. Okay, that's scary. That's really scary. But we did get Mantine in, which is really nice. So at plus one, you are at 738 speed, assuming you're Jolly. If... If we are Mantine in the rain, we don't come anywhere close to that, I don't think. Um, I'm clicking Ice Beam here, though. Okay, he does just click U-Turn, which is going to hurt, but it's not too bad. We could have clicked Hurricane there just to get off some damage on whatever comes in here. But, you know, it's not too bad. It did stop him from attempting a sweep or anything but I mean Outrage did like 80% so that could have been a thing yeah Hurricane would have been really nice here yeah that did zero yeah so I gotta get out here I could go straight into Zera Aura predict predicting the Volt Switch Celebi's also a thing that we could do I think Celebi could take could take a hit pretty well. I'm gonna go Celebi here. This game is like I, I feel like we're gonna get to a point here at the end where it's just like everything's gonna drop, but until then it's gonna be tough. As we have nasty plots, Rotom. Okay, so I'm really glad I switched. Really glad I switched. I'm not messing around with this thing. I'm clicking Leaf Storm. Okay, does it kill? Yes, it does. Get out of here. Perfect. So, Rotom does not get a chance to set up and sweep me. That is absolutely fantastic. Scarf, Celebi. I mean, technically, we didn't even need to be Scarfed to outspeed that. Unless, well, no, he couldn't have been Scarfed. He's slower than us because we're base 100. Yeah, he didn't have a chance of outspeeding us anyway. So, uh, I guess, does Giga Drain kill? Probably, probably not, right? Because Rotom's kind of bulky. Let me see here. Celebi, Choice Scarf. If we were... So, Leaf Storm... Hmm. Wow, that was a roll. <laughs> Leaf Storm was a roll. So, yeah, Giga Drain had no chance of killing. And we had a 43% chance to Oko... And we got it. So that was a lot riskier than I would have wanted it to be because he may have carried Shadow Ball with Nasty Plot. And a plus two, that definitely would have Okoed. Yeah, it Okoes every time. Okay, so we've got a Jirachi here. And this could do literally anything. <laughs> so I'm going to go Cobalion. But, but I don't know what this thing wants to do to me. I mean, it could go for Wish, it could go for Thunderbolt, Iron Head, that's a thing it can do. That's going to do zero. Okay, so Cabalion is going to be a nice answer to this, which is great. So I think this is going to be our chance to get up rocks. I think. He could have Fire Punch, but... Um, yeah, he could have Fire Punch, but I'm not 
too concerned about that in the rain. Alright, so we do get the Stealth Rocks up, which is good. We are faster, so he's not any kind of boosting anything. He does go for a T-Wave. I don't really care, because I'm the... I'm the bulky set here. I, I don't care. Okay, rain does stop, but that's fine. I'm going to click T-Wave of my own. If he wants to stay in with this, that's amazing for us. If he wants to swap out into something, that's probably also amazing for us. So, he clicks U-Turn, so... Hopefully, something comes in and gets paralyzed. Although, he could go Flygon. That is a thing he could do in which Taunt would have been nice, or Iron Head. But, we'll just have to see. He may go T-Tar. But, well, I mean, he's probably not going to go T-Tar if it's, if it's on this. Just Iron Head's going to do a decent chunk. But yeah, I really don't mind Paralysis on this. Just because he's, you know, he's the bulky set. Yeah, he does go into this. But so now we're gonna be we're gonna start seeing some rocks damage, and that's gonna be really really nice. So we don't get the T wave off, but that's fine. Taunt would have been good. Taunt would have been really good, just to stop him from uh, possibly dragon dancing. But I'm going back into Pelipper here because we are physically defensive Pelipper, and so we can take one hit, not well, but we can take a hit, and this sets up Mantine to um, possibly Oko him later. Although, if he gets a Dragon Dance up, he's faster than everything. Yeah, Dragon Dance is a problem. Dragon Dance is a big problem. I don't know if we can still take one hit from this. But we're going to fire off a Scald either way. As he does go ahead and go for the Dragon Claw. It's going to hurt a lot. Nope, we didn't live. Okay, so Life Orb is a thing. What do we even do here? Because he probably... I'm sure he... Well, he speed ties with Celebi. He speed ties with Celebi. Ooh, sorry. Um, and how much do we do to this again? Leaf Storm kills. Leaf Storm for sure kills. And so does Weather Ball. Um, I have to go Celebi and risk the speed tie. I, th I think that's what I just have to do. Because he doesn't know that I'm Scarfed. But assuming he's Jolly, then it's a speed tie. Um, Weather Ball is my most neutral play here. So I'm clicking that and it kills as long as we're fast. As long as we win the speed tie. We do win the speed tie. Scarf Celebi. Scarf Celebi. Boom. Get out of here. And we take out the flag on. Ooh, that speed tie. I did not I did not like that. <laughs> the flag on is so, it was so scary in this match for sure. Yeah, because all he had to do was click U-turn, and if he if he won that speed tie, then um he just would have uh I think he just straight up would have swept right there. How much does Jirachi take from a uh, Weather Ball, I wonder? Uh, it takes 39 minimum. But uh, I don't want to stay in on that. Earth Power does 48 for later. I think Celebi still has plenty of use here, though. Yeah, Celebi still looks nice. Against everything except Conkelder, Celebi looks pretty decent. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to swap. So against... It's a physical Jirachi. I'm going Kabalion again. I don't think that he can touch me. Because I really don't mind his uh, Paraflinch shenanigans. It's really not that big of a deal because we take so little damage from this. Okay, so he does you turn out totally fair. And what do you go into on this? Titar? Possibly? That's a thing you could do. I have no idea what that name is. Conkelder. Okay. Now, my question is... Okay, so I don't want to paralyze this because that's Guts. Oh, he may burn himself. Yeah, he burns himself. Okay. I really don't want to sit here and take, like, a Drain Punch or anything like that. And my Pelipper is dead. 
Ugh. I don't think Mantine takes a hit here, does it? How much rain do we have? Four turns of rain. Do I have to sack Kabalion here? I mean, it hard walls is Jirachi. But I think... I think we can deal with Jirachi with Zara Aura. So, I, I think it's fine. I, I think we just let this go down. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just click Iron Head here. Okay, fully paralyzed. It's fine. Just click Drain Punch. Yep, he does. We're gonna not live that at all. Because, you know, Guts is a thing and it's really strong. So, we know he's not AV, which is really good. Um, Alright, Hurt by Burn. Nice. So, now I go Mantine. And I'm free to fire off a Hurricane here. We could get off the Confusion, which is which would be really cool. But I'm clicking Hurricane. And we're going to see what we can do here. Let's go, buddy. Hurricane. And it Okos. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Offensive Mantine. Let's go. Let's go. What you got next? What you got next? Uh, Kabalion is next. Okay. Um, against a Mantine. Let's see here. I mean, Hurricane still does over half to this, assuming no bulk. And I mean, I know he clicks Volt Switch, but like... If he doesn't, then I I, I can't lose my Zero Aura. That's, that's the thing. Like, no matter what, Zero Aura cannot die. Because otherwise, like, I just straight lose. I'm clicking Hurricane and going for a Confusion. And if I don't get it, then I don't get it. But Mantine's getting ready to lose his Swift Swim. So, yeah. Oh, he sets up Rocks. Okay. We have one more turn of Rain, right? One, one more? We do. That's another free Hurricane. That is another Hurricane right there. Gonna go into Jirachi. Yeah, probably should have clicked Surf there. But Confusion? Maybe? Possibly? Please? That does zero. Oh, we get the Confusion. Mantine, let's go. Mantine, it's your time to shine, Mantine. Let's go. Okay, so we do learn that the Jirachi's lefties. That makes sense with the T-Wave and the... Uh, yeah, so we're going to click Roos, or uh, Surf and just do as much as we can. We are faster, which is very nice because this is probably a bulkier one. As we do like a quarter, I mean, that's not too bad. All right, what are you going to do? Paralyze us? Oh, hit yourself in the face. That's what you're going to do. I will take that. This is just turning Jirachi shenanigans right back in its face. Because all it does is just paraflinch and just make you to where you can't even move. But we're going to hit you with another Surf here. Now, if this thing has Wish, we're going to be kind of big sad. If it's like Wish, Protect, T-Wave, Iron Head. He, he missed the Thunder. That's unfortunate. I actually do kind of feel bad about that. Because that's... But, like, that is also usually the Dapper Snapper luck is missing thunder waves i've missed so many thunder waves this generation like it's it's really bad how many thunder waves i've missed yeah that that is frustrating I, i'm oh and he quit are you kidding me come on man come on that was a good battle i mean we did have that like but mantine coming through at the very end mantine like really really showed up this match that was that was cool and Keldeo didn't even get a chance to come out of the Pokeball. So, oh well. We, we ended up featuring the wrong Mon, but it's okay. I'm sorry, Max, that you missed the T-Wave. That is unfortunate. But I don't think that it would have changed the outcome of the battle. Um, yeah, it, it wouldn't have. We still had that because I still had Zara Aura around. And Zara Aura kind of beat the rest of the team. Uh, just with knockoff. So... It wouldn't have changed anything, but it still is unfortunate. So, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry you missed it, but it happens. It, it happens a lot. At least for me, it does. But anyway, very good match to my opponent. And we basically, uh, we, we did good. We did good. I'm happy with that. It was a good battle. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this Wi-Fi Wednesday. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.